Well, Chicagoans, it looks like you finally came to your senses and you had enough. Are you going to continue to vote for the garbage that you vote for? Because elections have consequences. You continue to vote down the party line, no matter what, year after year after year, and now look where you're at. Hmm? They don't care about you anymore. Your vote, they assume they're going to get. So now they're going to go and give all the resources to the illegal immigrants. You voted for that. This time, vote them out. To another speaker. Any written comments that have been submitted will be posted and made available for automatic review. Our first speaker today is Lisa Bowden. Lisa Bowden is not present. Hmm? Don't start not showing up. Our next speaker is George Blakemore. No respect for you. The black people have issues because you have poor black leadership. Mm. And Reverend Woo Woo got somebody up here praying. Yes, sir. Just pray your way off this plantation. Mm. Pray your way into reparation. This is disgraceful. No boycott. No black. Uh, empty seats of black people. Oh, damn. Where are the black people? <laughs> the ancestors hate you. Mm. They never knew that you were going to turn out like you are and do what you're doing. Look at the Mayor Brandon st standing there like an the idiot. Education. Keep voting these people in. You have a chance. Um, I'm sure everybody knows about a movie, Scarface, right? <laughs> It's a classic, Al Pacino, right? Everybody knows about Russ that. Scarface. And we, you know, we <laughs> focus on the famous lines in that movie. Yeah. You know, the acting and the hello to my little friend. Say hello and to my little friend. It's the beginning of that movie that matters. When those words are coming up on that screen, that's what matters. And those words say, in May of 1980, Fidel Castro opened the harbor at Mariel Cuba mm. with the apparent intention of letting some of his people... Ooh, I like where she's going with that. That's United good. States. Within 72 hours... What a segue. ...thousand U.S. boats were headed for Cuba. Mm. It soon became evident that Castro was forcing the boat owners to carry back with them not only their relatives, but the dregs of his jail. Oof. Of that 125,000 refugees that landed in Florida, an estimated 25,000 have criminal records. Mm. That's what's up. That's what has happened in the United States right now. Wow. All this asylum seeking lie, all this about refugees, and no, no, no. What's happening is they're emptying out the dregs of their jails into the United States, into wow. our communities. Good and job. Junking up our country. And yeah, we feel some kind of way about it because it's our country. It's our Black country. people waking up. Like fast quiz them. Look how disrespectful they are. Now mm -hmm. you just gave that man a resolution for his father's restaurant. And every time we get up and talk, he's working this room. Look at him. Look at him. But he wants his resolution for his father to be respected. Vasquez, Lopez, all of them want their people to be just to be respected, but they can't even give us the dignity for what we built for them. Ain't no question about it. Yeah, Black History Month, the American descendants of slavery. And I want you to know, Brandon Johnson, I understand what Blake Moore's saying about we still on the plantation, but what you're looking at right now 
This is what a free Negro look like. Mm. I'm telling you, Oof, I got goosebumps. We're going to stand for our people. We're going to get them out of our communities because they don't deserve to be there. Anytime they can't give us three lousy minutes of their attention while we sit here and watch y'all give them all kind of money, you watch us. We black out here and we're going to handle our business. You watch that. I'm a free black woman. This is how we get down. Got goosebumps. That is beautiful. Thank you very much for your comments. Oh, shut your mouth. Our next speaker is Zoe Lee. I'm going to start with the words of Desmond Yancey. This behavior is not only acceptable, it is an indication that he is unfit for leadership. Majority of the people sitting on city council is unfit for leadership. It's 68,000 Chicagoans that are homeless. Majority of them are black. Mm. Our black kids are running rampant out here. Record carjackings, record auto theft, and robberies. Mm -hmm. Downtown has three to four legal families on every block begging for work and selling Kit Kat bars yep. after a billion dollars was spent on them. Where is that money? Where is the money for the South Side and the West Side communities? That should be that should be the argument. Yep. It's 20 black aldermen and women and a lot of upset black constituents who voted y'all in. So run into the white media outlets who won't even run a story about stolen properties being taken in our community. They can't, because they'll be called racist. Mm -hmm. So just like the Latino all the people in here that stick together, it should be the same with the blacks. And lastly, when are you going to find a floor leader? It's been three months. That should be another argument. We also will be voting no to bring Chicago home on March 19th. And Mayor Johnson, glad to hear you decided not to ask city council to approve not another dollar for the illegals. If the crisis is so bad, the city council members who are so concerned to donate their salaries to the cause like a real public servant should. Happy fucking black history. Mm. Our next speaker is Michael Young Bay. May I have your undivided attention, please? Mm. You do. Good morning. Okay. Because when someone's speaking up at this mic, shouldn't all the men be talking or having no sidebar or nothing? That also is in y'all rules. Just as well as when the vote is on the table. We're doing a roll call. Shouldn't nobody be leaving in and out. Because if we do something that you don't like, then you want to call the police. Oof. You want to have a person removed. Wow. You see, what we've been speaking about is... This man is speaking truth. About okay, so that was just sometime in February. This is March. This was just yesterday. Watch. The first speaker today is Cassia Jones. Please, good morning. Good morning. This was just yesterday, folks. I am a constituent of the Gage Park neighborhood. Since June, you decide to turn our park into a shelter. Our community is running lawless with legal, illegal Venezuelans taking over our streets. Mm. We feel like prisoners in our own homes. You hear that? Nope, you cannot. To talk, to take walks, or amazing programs have been Elections have consequences. For the disabled children that live near this park. We work hard to improve our park, our neighborhood, but because of your irresponsible move, this is not impossible. Hmm. Their illegal cars are parking on the residence permit street. They are selling food without permit, causing traffic, yet no police reinforcement to help us. In New York, they cook rice and rats right on the street. Building, God knows what, riding their bicycles around the neighborhood and looking to break into our houses, mm. garages and cars. They smoking weed and drink in the park in broad daylight. You guys threw us to the wolves and now we have to deal with the trouble you brought to our neighborhood. Wow. Unlike the illegals, as a legal immigrant myself, I know what I had to do to enter your country. That's what I say all the time. A background check, yep. Yep. Pay an expensive fee. Bring a work layer. Many and fees. So my previous job shall all go on. God bless you. Some might be good, but the others are here to cause trouble. Yep. For example, my neighbors had their car broken into, packages stolen from their front yards, and someone be on my property. Yes. I've been requesting Alderman Vasquez, Mayor Johnson, and those who made this decision wow. to walk our neighborhood and see what's happening there. You want to look good by helping them? Yet we taxpayers are left behind. We are now being put in harm's way because of the crimes they commit in our neighborhood. Your no consequence policy tells them it's okay 
to commit these damn crimes. Mm. Now, what about the citizens and the legal immigrants who came before them? We're still waiting years for our own families to enter this country legally. Legally. It is it's still paying thousands and thousands of dollars. Finally, we know the legals are returning in the middle of the night, parking our residential permit area, acting if the shelter is a bed and breakfast. Wow. They need to live now. Mm. We want our park back. And we demand that. It's not fair. You guys putting us in jeopardy. Kids cannot go outside. Two weeks ago, someone was peeing in my yard. A lady grabbed a branch off a tree and snapped this took my, my package from Amazon. They wow. They to cars. 6.53 a.m. I have videos to prove. Break into cars. And we cannot do nothing about it. Cops come, they see, and they go away. Selling food all the time. Thank you very much for your comments. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Our next speaker is Michael Young Bay. Like y'all playing a political game with my family, and I'm a straight shooter. So you just got I'm even. I can withstand the truth, so I can understand somebody say no. We ain't giving y'all nothing. You know I can respect that. Just tell me just like that. I ain't helping you get nothing. <laughs> but y'all giving these migrants something. They keep on coming down here. The people pressing. Hey, this what's going on in our neighborhood. This what's going on in our neighborhood. And then the news don't even show what needs to be shown. Boom. That's right, fake news. That's why you got more real news right here. Fake news is quoting Trump. Chicago, you're in trouble. But the Democratic Party, you're done. I gave them coats. See, so I know what's going on. And I kept saying that for the longest. Well, I know you people don't know what's going on to this extent with this migrant and this immigration stuff. Because if y'all so much saying that Texas is doing this and Texas is doing that, why everybody call this parked outside them shelters that the employees that like to place have Texas on there? Mm. Give me that job, man. I do security. Mm. Why are you giving this to somebody from Texas? <laughs> you see? That's what's going on. Don't help me come out here. I told y'all. I mean, I, I had to let go last time because it's stuff involving my child. So me as a father, and I know that these places are against fathers. They're against husbands. I'm a married man. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So I'm standing up for men. I'm standing up for these homeless shelters that y'all got our people in that got moved, that got wrecked, that got roaches, big bugs, etc. And y'all putting them in nice hotels. They died for us. Especially our veterans. Put them in CHJ property. How them? You ain't got to spend no dime as much as the millions and billions that been spent for these immigrants here, these migrants here, these asylum seekers here, which ultimately are illegal here. And there's people here that been going on the radar, they can't get a green card or work permit, and they've been here 20, 30 years. Wow. Seniors. Our next speaker is Mrs. Lawrence. What does it prosper a man? A prophet's a man to gain the world and lose his soul. We're going to start off with scripture because, Mr. Johnson, you love quoting and thumping scriptures up there. <laughs> and this is something I think is special for you. So I thought I would state that. Oh, well, they had it now. We're going to talk about this executive order of yours that comes from 2023-16, where I'm not going to read it all because I don't have the time. But one thing I want to point out is how you made it clear that you're going to stick these people in our neighborhoods and that we have to just accept it. Our next speaker is George Blakemore. Boom. Where you come from? Who's your mama, your daddy? Are you a criminal? Are you a pedophile? You're not getting in. You're not... This is a this man is upset. This old man right here. Good, you're waking up, Chicago ones. Good. The old schoolers coming out now. Saying something is wrong with us black people that keep doing this to each other. Good job. Corrupt here. 
What is it, Mr. Blackman? All of these people here are Democrats. All of them are Democrats. Well, over in China, they Democrats. got one party system. In Chicago, they do too. A one party system, he says. The most corrupt city in the United States. Boom. The most racist city in the United States. Who said that, Dr. King? A bunch of bullets sitting here, okay? Mm. I don't even know what that means. A bunch of bullets sitting here. And Vasquez, you are an alderman. When have you stood with your people out there protesting? I saw you two Saturdays ago at Prisco Park at 4.30 p.m. And stop asking these people for anything. You're supposed to be demanding. Okay? But you know what? Once they done using you to lead us to slaughter, Mm. They're going to put you in the grinder next. Yes, exactly. That's how it always happens. And don't play on our emotions with Harold Washington, okay? Because he did do a great thing. But what you did in March 23, that was in slapping the face to all Americans, not just black Americans, okay? The reason why I bring us up is because we are in a national crisis. So when it boils down to it, this is the bottom line, okay? The Democratic Party is your new plantation. You have to get out of it. Also, uh, she's right, the last one there. They are done with you, so now they're moving on to the illegal immigrants. That's what the Democratic Party does. And after they're done with them, there'll be somebody else. It's all about power. But um, I'm glad. I'm glad you guys are finally revolting. Good luck to you. Hopefully, next year, you don't fall for the whole thing all over again. Hopefully, you gotten some wisdom out of this. Hopefully, you see the path to righteousness. And stop voting across party line for these idiots. Good luck to you. And God bless you.